Today we're going to make a GIF image. One of the reasons to use a GIF is it has the ability to have a transparent background, something that a JPEG does not have. So in GIMP we'll go to the File menu and we will choose Create a New Image where we'll put in a width of 400 and a height of 400. At that point we'll go to the um, icon right here for an ellipse, a circle, and we'll draw ourselves a circle on the screen. And then We'll go to the edit menu and we'll choose stroke selection at which point uh, I put in a line with a 5. You can put whatever you want and click on stroke and it'll create a circle. At that point I pick the paintbrush up, change the color to blue and I draw a very quick rough outline of North America. I realize that it's not geographically accurate. And then I go and change the green color and I draw a rough outline of Central and South America, or part of it anyway. At that point, I then take the paint bucket right here, and I've been using the color green, so I click Fill, and I fill in South America. I do the same thing with North America in blue, going back to the blue color. Then I'm going to go over here to the letter A and type in, I uh, put it in this case 59 is the pixel size, or the size of the font and uh, I just chose the default Calibre bold doesn't really matter I typed in Yunkerland in this example then I went over to uh, the rotate button over here on the menu and I hit rotate and I turned it and then you just click on the word rotate and you've now got your text turned at that point I have to merge it so I go to the layer menu way up here and I choose merge down and that becomes all one layer. Then I took this little magic fuzzy wand and I clicked anywhere white on the outside and I hit the delete button. And that eliminated all that. Now I've got a transparent background but this is white in the middle, blue, green, so on. And the next thing I wanted to do is to resize it because I don't really want it to be 400. I just wanted to work with something a little larger. I resized it to 200 by 200. That was going to the uh, image menu and choosing um, scale image and then when I export it I gotta go to the file menu and choose export I put in a name dot gif and by putting that that dot gif it will save it as a gif image and gives you some options there um, you'll notice if I had several options I could actually do an animation but I, I don't have that in this example and I'm just gonna hit export and save myself a gif image with a transparent background